Hey, this is Alex, and I'll show you a few tricks in Maestro. As a former software engineer, I know that everyone is happy when everything goes smoothly. However, the power of a platform shines when problems occur. We'll dive together today in how easy it is to understand when an error occurs, how to quickly spot the culprit, and how an in-place fix is implemented. Let me show you a procurement business process. It should be fairly familiar to you, since most of us at some point needed a new set of headphones, a mouse replacement, or some additional stationery. We will see how the process can be monitored, issues quickly spotted, and fixes can be applied without restarting the entire process. After all, you wouldn't like to ask again for the same thing, right? This is how the business process is modeled and implemented. Everything is built in the unified developer experience, and you can see here the overarching process together with the implementation. Typically, the business process owner starts from the BPMN canvas here, then passes the baton to developers to implement it. Developers get to pick from a variety of tools. The RPE workflows that are able to touch computer screen as humans, the API workflows that know to speak the system language, and agents that are able to solve tasks harder to be logically described by humans. And you can see here our latest view of an agent. On top of everything here is the agentic process that harmoniously conducts the entire flow. This is how it is designed, and here we'll come a bit later, in a hurry, to fix a problem under the pressure of time, as it happens with any production application. So let's start the process. I'll add a new inquiry in Autopilot for Everyone that is available in Assistant Web. I'll actually just ask for a new license. Now let's switch to Maestro. This new kid on the UiPath block has improved monitoring tools. You can see here the executing instances, both current and previous ones. You can check on this beautiful heat map where the problem typically occurs. So let's check the latest one. Oh, there's an error. The error occurred in the logic of the procurement agent. As an operator, I can think, mm, maybe this is a transient error. Should I just retry the execution? Can I do that without restarting the entire process? Remember, the process started with the business user making the procurement request. Oh, of course. Maestro comes to the rescue. Here is the retry button. As I click on it, I get to learn it will retry from the last failed activity. I no longer need to revert changes in our systems or third-party systems nor ask the user if they need to apply again. So let's try it. Oh, this one didn't work. So I really need to go and fix it. Now I switch heads to the developer head. I'm under pressure since I need to quickly react, fix and deploy. Fortunately, as you can see here, the fix was easy. Now I need to prepare for upgrading the process. And what about the running instances? So from Studio, I just republish a newer version. Then I go to Solution and upgrade it. Now let's get back to Maestro. What do you think the Migrate button does? Oh, I can migrate this running instance to the fixed version and try again. Let's wait for the flow. And yes, green all the way. And that was it. You've seen how an entire business process can be modeled in one single IDE, published, operated, and maintained as a whole. Also, how easy it was to spot an issue, fix it, redeploy it, and continue the running process without any business user impact. And yet, this is only one part of the UiPath Act 2.